I think it's important to mention why is exercise important. Um, we have got draft guidelines, updated guidelines for osteoarthritis, which are currently out in circulation and they were published last month and the consultation runs until beginning of uh, June. But they now have changed. The first line treatment for osteoarthritis is exercise. So we know that lack of exercise causes muscles and ligaments and tendons and therefore your joints to deteriorate. And we also know with research increasingly that osteoarthritis happens throughout your life. So we can take a prehistoric uh, person that we might have found in the glaciers. This, this is actually a true story. Um, and when they've actually done a, a scan of that person's body, they discovered that the person was about 18 or 21, something like that, like that. And they had a lot of osteoarthritis. So osteoarthritis doesn't just happen when you're old. Mm. But with that information and with lots of other research, we're realizing that it is a normal healing process that seems to go slightly wrong. And the sedentary lifestyle that we have in the Western world these days means that it's more likely to go wrong. So exercise seems to help um, in lots of ways, but in, it also means that it pushes the body to actually remodel itself in the right way. So one of the reasons we think that exercise may be beneficial for arthritis and why we're not worried that even if you've got arthritis, um, you shouldn't be exercising. We're actually saying you should be exercising because it helps this remodeling process. But at the same time, if you're doing less exercise, we have specialized pain receptors, which are tell our body where things are. They are proprioceptors. And when we don't exercise or if we get injured, those proprioceptors in that part of the body degenerate and they become pain receptors. And the way to solve that problem of them becoming pain receptors and giving you more pain is actually perversely to do more exercise. Mm -hmm. This might be why when you start doing a bit of exercise or more exercise than you have been in order to rehabilitate yourself, you get more pain. Yeah. But why, another reason why we say keep going because it will get better. So going back to the, the thigh issue, I would be wanting to see what's going on with that thigh. Sometimes it can be lack of fitness. Sometimes it can be moving differently. Sometimes it can be we need a, um, some form of painkiller to help that, but sometimes some massage or other manual therapy might help. And again, I'm getting into dodgy ground because the evidence for manual therapy is not great, but it does seem to have some effect in thighs and, well, hips and knees, so affecting your thigh. But it shouldn't be just focused on that. It should be the exercise and everything else. So it should be a package of care. But this is where a physiotherapist who often you can self-refer yourself to these days may be able to help. And I, that would be what I would be suggesting in, in this case. Um, so hopefully that's given a bit more understanding about arthritis and the treatment, but also this specific uh, question. Thank you. And we're really delighted to hear about the, the NICE um, guidelines, well, at least being under consultation. I think we're going to try and touch on that a little bit more as well on a later question.